everyone, Photo Phantom here. Today we will be creating a Pringles flavor. Any Pringles flavor you want to choose, just comment down below. So don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. As you can see in the shadow, it looks kind of awkward because there's like a hole in, in it. So I will fix that. So see you in a second. Next, I chose a different color, so I chose a purplish color because I think it suits this Pringle flavor. And then I will fill it in this green section. This uh, original one, this template, used to be a Shrek Pringle flavor, as you see on the side. Okay, let me fill this in first. All done. So now we have to get rid of the green layer. So we group them together. So now it's like that. Now we change the text to the Pringles flavor. So I'm gonna change it to bird poop and onion because that's absolutely disgusting. Now we're gonna find some references. So we're gonna get the bird poop obviously and then the onion. So the bird poop's gonna go on the onion. So let's go with the onion so here you have it we're gonna resize it and rotate it to fit the object afterwards i found some clouds to use as distinct clouds because if we had bread with an onion it would smell really bad so here it is now afterwards i just resized it gave it a mask and then i just filled it and then refined it with the refined edges brush if you don't know what that is, check out my Santa's video. So then I just blend it in with the masks and put it behind. But I added some things at the top as well. So to make it look like that, I have to use the mask and brush it very softly. Like this. Now, so I need to make it green so it looks absolutely revolting. So I used the hue and saturation layer and clipped it to the cloud. Also, I had to click colorize. We have to group it like so and use the hue and saturation to make it green. So I click on the checkbox, click the clipping mask and then I make it green. Last but not least, we have to add the bird poop. Obviously, it can't be bird poop and onion without bird poop. So I masked it out. I warped it so it could fit the subject. And then I used blending. This is the result. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.